Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is part 18 and in this uh, video we'll be discussing more about uh, processes, particularly about threads. So till now whatever we discussed about processes, we actually considered those processes to be single thread of execution, like performing single thread of execution. So when we say single thread of execution, this means at a time we can only perform one task. So there is like only one thread, so you can basically perform only one task at a time. Now if we just consider for example the word processor program, so if you have a word processor program, what this will allow you to do is basically uh, type in some characters. So it can, for example, let's have uh, the tasks which this can do. So for now to keep it simple, we'll just say that this can type in characters and we can also perform some spell check on whatever we have typed. Now if a process is actually performing a single thread execution, then it can either type or do spell check. It cannot do both simultaneously because there is like only one thread which is running. Now if you want both of these tasks to be done at the same time, then we would basically have uh, to do threading. So whatever program we were running, so this program should be actually uh, running on two threads. One should handle the typing part and the other should be basically doing the spell check part. So this is where the threads come into, uh, I mean they play a vital role. So most of the multi-threading programs, they actually are beneficial only in case of uh, uh, systems which are multi-core. So if there is like only a single core, then again you only will be able to perform one task at a time. But if you have multi-cores, then we can basically divide this process to uh, like into multiple threads and each thread can be run on a, a different core. So in such a way, we can basically perform all these tasks at the same time. So this is actually uh, about threads. I mean, this is this was just a brief introduction. We would actually basically uh, have a very thorough discussion on threads. There is a whole chapter on threads actually. So for now, uh, just to recap, threads are basically, you can consider threads to be a part of a process. So instead of just performing one task, we can perform all the tasks simultaneously if we have uh, multiple threads. So that is the whole idea of threads. Now we also talked about uh, PCBs. So these are the pro process control blocks which actually store uh, information about the processes. Now if we have uh, multi-threads then we should be extending this to also store the thread information. So PCB uh, which we discussed in I think part 16. So there uh, we did not uh, talk about any thread related information which was stored in PCB. So if we have multi-thread concept, then we would have to extend this PCB to store the thread information as well. So that is it about uh, threads. We'll discuss this in detail in the upcoming videos. Thanks.